Hey, good morning guys, it's a beautiful day. Uh, nice and 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is cool by Texas standards. <laughs> so uh, I'm heading out today uh, for uh, the uh, coffee meetup, which is uh, surfaced again uh, uh, with the BMW guys. Uh, back when I started with the group, uh, we used to have it uh, every every weekend actually and it was not even a scheduled event you just show up and everybody's gonna be there but uh, thanks to the pandemic uh, that was stopped and now uh, it's actually a scheduled event and uh, happens uh, every once in a while and uh, for me to time it <laughs> uh, correctly based on uh, you know some uh, schedule uh, stuff uh, it's been uh, challenging the last uh, couple of months but uh, uh, here I am back again uh, with these guys. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's always fun talking to these guys, uh, really experienced people. So uh, other than that, yep, I haven't been uh, riding too much. Otherwise, I'll be recording more. Uh, I've been uh, wanting to do one off-road stuff uh, back uh, in in Rocky Ridge uh, to practice some more uh, off-road um, uh, skills. I've been watching a channel which is um, ADV Motor Skills from a guy uh, based out of uh, UAE. Man, this guy is really cool. His videos are fantastic, short and absolutely to the point. Uh, you know, uh, I just love it and I haven't had time to practice that. Uh, I'll probably uh, do that uh, soon. And then uh, next uh, was the uh, street riding too. I figure out more and more as you uh, as you ride, you figure things out. <laughs> uh, yeah, on the last ride when I'd gone, uh, a few guys were mocking me for my body position. So I thought, uh, you know what, maybe it's time to make some adjustments to that in terms of uh, what I'm doing uh, correctly. You know, the criticism is always good. <laughs> Uh, you take it uh, seriously and uh, you try to figure it out because otherwise, uh, you know, people are going to say stuff which, uh, which is, uh, you know, 90% true. So if, if you don't like it, uh, you know, tough luck. You just need to, you need to work more at it. At it. That's what I feel. So uh, I need to practice more of that. Uh, and then uh, yesterday's meetup uh, was really cool. More and more guys are getting into uh, ADV bikes because, uh, you know, it's one bike that can do a lot of things. Uh, so the first bike you buy, you know, I would say is always good to have an ADV bike. And then you can build on it, you know, if you want uh, to go track, a uh, sports bike. If you want to go uh, cruising, uh, you know, and uh, cruiser, which I'm also thinking <laughs> so uh, so we saw a cool Afri Africa twin you know that was really cool uh, with the black and gold it just looked gorgeous and uh, that was really cool but the only downside is the DCT which I'm you know and not that much of a fan of but uh, you know if you like it if, if that's the way you like to go it's probably uh, will be certainly easier to ride because uh, you don't stall the bike so uh, that's a route you can take. Uh, a couple of other guys they bought some GSAs and uh, GS. Uh, uh, one guy bought a 2016 GSA and another one a 2021 uh, GSA. Great bikes. Uh, I'm always a big fan of GSA. As you guys know, it's a beautiful bike of mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, that's where uh, things have been and, uh, you know, uh, other than that, yeah, I've been uh, wanting to get out and ride a little bit more, but uh, eventually get there. A couple of guys are going to uh, Mina uh, for a day trip, which is in Arkansas. Uh, it's about a, you know, 250 mile ride uh, one way, so and that's a 500 mile round trip, but uh, yeah, that Mina Talamina Parkway is an interesting uh, road, so you can uh, do that. So uh, that's where uh, some of the guys, a couple of guys, are going to Ladakh actually, Leh Ladakh in India, uh, which is another uh, you know great off-road destination. Although uh, a lot of the main roads now are getting paved, so it's not as uh, challenging as before. But there are a lot of uh, side roads which you can take, and also alternate routes 
which which are you know are pretty good uh, pretty pretty challenging although people are there use uh, you know really regular street bikes and then they take it there uh, and, and and they do a good job it's it's not that difficult if um, you know if you're uh, lower to the ground and you can you know uh, paddle walk the bikes I guess over the difficult water crossings and difficult terrain it's going to slow you down but if you don't stand uh, you can get through that that's part of the adventure so enough of this talking so I'm gonna get there uh, if you see there's some cool bikes uh, I'll take some pictures videos uh, otherwise uh, good talking to you guys as usual and uh, I will uh, you know uh, keep you posted on my activities uh, hang in there uh, for a while and uh, we'll see what else comes on the video uh, the bikes this morning uh R90. This used to be a touring R90. I think he's taken off all the stuff from here. And the good old uh, RT Austins. That's I think Duke's R90. It's a 1250. Of course the GSA. Uh, this is Doug's Goldwing. And then you have the the GSA again. And the great bumblebee, uh, Craig's bumblebee, man, that looks really nice. I love the gold and black. It's gorgeous. Nice. And the GS. And uh, you have a 1250 GSA there too. Uh, nice. I love this 40th year GSA. Man, it looks gorgeous. Cool. It's a nice place here. Dunn Brothers Coffee. Nice location. That was a nice uh, meetup after uh, some time. Uh, met the guys. It was uh, good old uh, chatting about this and that. Guys are uh, seen a lot of interesting roads, uh, interesting things in the army, and all kinds of things. So it was good talking to them after that uh, break. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. I just wanted to, uh, you know, catch up and uh, just say hello after uh, after the last uh, ride. And uh, I will uh, film some more stuff a little more often once I get out. Uh, and I will uh, catch you guys later. Uh, hang loose and ride safe as usual. And we'll see you on the next ride.